So Vaughn has a bunch of, he's, he does a couple things. He has some setup tools. He has some combo extension tools. He has a way you can, you know, break, use uh, flawless block to push them back, which I will not be showing. It's in the trailer. Mm -hmm. okay. I cannot do that. Uh, just a lot of really cool stuff. So let's take a look. One thing he has that's really neat. Uh, he'll just throw out this mine, which will pull you forward. And at the end, you're kind of crumpled and knocked down. Now, if they can block that. Is that some red dragon tech right that's there? That's right. It yeah. is. Yeah. So like, you know, boom. Created by the same scientist that built Sue Howe's uh, chest plate. It sure feels like it, right? So he's got that. He can also, this is this is one of my favorites. This is generally used for a nice combo ender to add some damage. You can do the, just fling each other into each other. Can you Nomad's touch. Explain that. To that is, that is a cabal move from MK Deception. I'm so excited to have Mavado in. He stole his hook swords in Deception. He stole Nomad's touch. What a criminal. Yeah, I, I love say it. He's a criminal. I mean, it's well, boom. Criminal. He takes a little damage. The other person takes a little bit more. He also has... This is really cool. When you knock them down, you can slide oh. out with him at low. And people are like, what does that do? Now it adds a little damage for one. Mm -hmm. What I enjoy it for is it stops what else. Oh. So they, have to, they just have to hold that. Yep. Um, and that's what I've been, that's sort of what I've been sort of theory crafting its use as. Um, super cool, though. Um, one, the, the two other moves he has, like remember these knees, we talked about these earlier. If they're in the air, he can fly back towards them and knock them back towards you, which is super cool. So you can just <laughs> co combo continuation. He can also do it from the sky. I was going to ask. different input, which I like showing it like this. And that is neat because normally you cannot combo after an uppercut. Some characters can. Right. Uh, Sonya's, I believe, can. Scorpions, I believe, can. Uh, this is a new one that you can do it on, and it's actually it's pretty. It, I slid, slid under. Like, I'm out. <laughs> it's pretty easy to do, I think, too. So that's neat. It's just it's depending on what move you're doing to them is what you'll decide to do with either coming forward or dropping down. Um, but for me, I found it really easy. Ermac has a lot of moves that I think it works with really well. I mean, that could be recency bias because I'm playing the characters together, mm -hmm. but I've really enjoyed it. Well, I think one thing that would be cool is he could help extend your combos if you're a character that's not combo focused. Right. Or if you are like Ermac and you have a lot of options, you can even go all, double down, which I think Correct. is one of the coolest things about the cameo system, the ability to kind mm -hmm. of, you know, triple, quadruple down or fill in gaps that you might have. So like this is the, I mean this basic combo I've been working on at my desk. We'll see if I can pull it off. I got faith in you. Ooh. Oh, oh it was it's so a, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was so I, close. I, I, do you like it? Throw it one more time. Absolutely. Uh, well, I, that was it. That was it. That was it. One more. One more. One more. Okay. One more. One more. All right. People are like, please stop. I was trying to cover. I know. <laughs> Let's go. Boom. Okay. All right. There we and are. There's my guy. There he is. Third time's a charm. What do you call that combo? Uh, we are mini. Nice. Okay. We are mini is what that's called. So that, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Is Mavado.